creating an NFT collection on Canva. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. And today's video I'll be showing you on how you can create an entire NFT collection using this Canva.com. Now, so Canva is a simple tool that you can use to design different kinds of projects. Uh, you can design presentations, posters, um, infographic, um, or you can um, edit like a videos as well uh, before they don't have this feature but it's a really great thing that they were able to add this um, feature and it's awesome and the free um, I mean Canva is a free uh, free website guys and uh, there is an option for you to like um, uh, use the Canva Pro you can take advantage of that uh, and you have to pay like a I'm not really sure about the amount but um, Canva is totally for free. Don't have to worry about, um, you know, uh, applying for or getting into a Canva Pro. Uh, there is a lot of, there is a bunch of stuff that it's totally for free and uh, you can always play around and you'll be able to create your NFT collection. And what you have to do for this guys is you just have to log in your Gmail account, just like this. And once you have signed up, uh, you're going to be led to this um, dashboard. So this is going to be our basic dashboard on Canva. So what we're going to do here first is uh, we can create a size or we can uh, actually like create a um, click this uh, presets here. They got like um, custom free, I mean presets here available that you can actually just click it if you want to say for example you want to have like an infographic preset then you just have to click this one. Uh, the same goes with Instagram stories, uh, menu, stuff like that. But I wanted to like um, create like a 600 by 600 um, uh, custom preset now I'll hit create design now we'll just have to wait for that to load up so once you uh, selected or created your own uh, canvas uh, you'll be here this is our like blank um, canvas here so what we're gonna do here is um, um, we go to element and we search for uh, person animated person something like that we can create animate something like this. Uh, you know, our our inner is not working fine right now. So uh, once you have search, uh, you know, on things that you wanted to like search for, uh, me I prefer to search the uh, animated. Uh, so I wanted to have this one or maybe this one. Kind of like this one. So nah, it's it's like uh, too detailed. So I'll just delete that. So maybe this. So what I'm gonna do is. Uh, Put the raccoon here and then a search for lines and no um maybe this kind of lines here yeah this one and i right click that and it send it to backward so it will not cover up my raccoon and i will try to like duplicate it and paste it in here or uh, flip it like uh, how do you flip this one uh, never mind give me one sec send backward there you go there as you can see I already made uh, so this is going to be a collection so what you're gonna do is uh, I, I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the background here so how to change the background make sure you highlight the background and click this one and then you can select any background that you want it to have so I want the kind of uh, this, uh, background color and what I'm gonna do next is duplicate page now I'll change the background again and maybe like a lighter green or yellow and to delete this one back and then i'll go ahead and search for another like animation here um just like this and as you can see there he is i'm gonna change the background to maybe um orange and delete this backward delete this and select another element here uh, photos, straight line, something like that. Uh, line. Mm. Let's 
so oh i like this one so kind of wanted to just put that one here and maybe yeah it's good so that's how you basically like create your um nft collection here on kind of a guy so you can always play around um on this website and just to let you know um you know this is just a uh you know uh, a reference video uh, just a tutorial just to show you guys that you can easily create NFT collection uh, on, in Canva and it's going to be a pretty fun process a pretty easy process as well you always have the right to play around on this um, on this website and by the way if you wanted to get take advantage of the uh, Canva Pro you can always take advantage of the uh, Canva Pro on the, but you can always use the free version um, it's not, you know, it's not a problem. There's a lot of free stuff here on Canva. Now, um, I hope, I really hope, guys, that you have learned something from this video. Um, but first things first, I have to like save it. I almost forgot. So what you have to do is, uh, you can like play this one like this, yeah, like that, and you can like uh, lower it down the uh, the. Uh, a sec here we put I will put it in like around a second this one this one you put you can put that one in as uh, like a second just this one as well so you can have you know uh, like all right you can <laughs> I forgot you can just apply it to all pages so you can play it like this so there is a problem with the, uh, you know, I wanted to change this one. Like, I don't want this. So I have to copy this uh, page here just to like, um, you know, uh, we can have like a smooth pattern, something like that. You know, we have the same position of the raccoon. And I'll just delete this and I'll search for um, maybe boxes or, hmm. Uh, guess something like the box line. Yeah. There you go. So, and I want to change the color to maybe a yellow one. There you go. So cute. And we could try to play. There you go. You already have your NFT collection. And what you have to do here is uh, you can always like download it if you want. Um, can this one this option here download and save it as PDF that's the best uh, but you can save it as PNG JPEG PDF standard PDF print I'll just uh, choose PDF standard because uh, I mean not PDF standard uh, JF maybe uh, but PDF is the best uh, I think that's the best uh, file to you know uh, to choose if you wanted to upload it on OpenSea and Solana but um, yeah you can you can select JF as well. I'll select JF this time. Now, if you have, I'm so sorry about that, guys. And with that being said, guys, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate all the effort that you know watching this video. I hope, I really hope you learned something from this video. And thank you so much. And if you do, please consider hitting the like and subscribe button. And until the next one, bye bye, guys.